Climate justice means that everyone has the right to use clean air and the duty to protect it regardless of the state, ethnicity, gender, age, or religion. People in poor countries emit 0.5 tons of CO2 per person per year, but Germany produces 8.9 tons, the United States, Canada and Australia emit more than 15 tons per year and the world average is 5 tons. According to World Risk Index, people in developing countries are more vulnerable to climate crisis because they are live in less nutritious and poor living condition compared to people in rich countries. In other words, the effects of climate crisis are felt most acutely by people who are least responsible for causing the problem. This is not fair and violates climate justice. I want to help the people of developing countries cope with the climate crisis in a similar environment to those of rich countries through the same Alundong. Here are five steps to apply the same Alundong, and today I'm going to explain the first step. First, let's look at three key points. You need people. Sema Lundong is a movement being done by people. It can't be done by someone from outside nor by guide of government officials. It should be done by people in the local communities from their daily life. So what you need first is the organization of people of your village. This kind of organization does not evolve itself. There are someone who move first and villagers follow them listening what they say and seeing what they do. In other words you need leaders and core group. They become the heart around which the organization grows to embrace the whole members of the village. Now you got a very good idea for the village. Then would your neighbors say, wow that's really a great idea. When do we start it? Mostly they say, it's a good idea but what could we start it with? Or, what the hell are you saying? We barely managed to get our meals now. So you need to make money first. But how could we make it? Search for a generous benefactor. Collect contributions from wealthy people. We don't do it that way. It should be done and can be done by the villagers the owners of the movement. The money made by the villagers is not money as it is. It is an excellent example for everyone when the first goers make seed money with their own hands only. Huh, I thought it was just a boast but they seem to go for something real. They observe you closely. They get interested now. If the money is made by the efforts of the whole village it gives them self-confidence. It gives them hope. Wow we really can do something. It is the biggest driving force of the movement. Making the outcome accumulated within the community and enjoyed by all the members of community. Operating projects based on the solidarity of community. Put the cooperative work before everything as the way of things. Making examples from execution of projects. Upbringing people through the process of working and reserving fund for community. At the beginning stage there were no leaders elected by somebody. No experts who could plan and guide it. It was just ordinary village people who started the movement determining that they could not go on a life like that. They created hope of their own by their hands. In those days movement leaders of Korea loved to say, it will be blossomed in the days of our children even that we cannot enjoy it. We live in sweat for that today. Sema Lundong is a movement who feels thirsty digs a well first. It's a movement challenging the words of fate, impossible and unable. It's a movement of taking trouble myself for my children's future. Have you ever wanted to be an animal in the wilderness disheartened at your poverty? And have you cried deeply despairing of the future of your children? Then you are deserved to be the master of Sema Lundong. Right now in your neighborhood, have you people who are in the same hard life as you? And there is nobody to dare to try something new? Then you stand ahead first for yourself.
You can't expect the whole village to be unified from the first. A leader moves first and introduces others into the movement by his guiding practice. He or she shows visions for the movement. He or she finds breakthrough when there are obstacles. He or she guides and leads the whole community through the uncharted area of the sea. Without a leader there is no movement successfully executed. The existence of competent leaders is an essential element deciding whether the movement succeeds or not. To set up a leader it should be decided by community vote in a general meeting of whole village if your community unites well and most of its members agree to the idea of Samal Undong. It could be decided by the discussion of core group if you start first with most of villagers not knowing well about the movement. If you have passionate and sincere, you can learn and fill up what you need. In Korea there was a case of community leader who concluded stock raising the best choice for his village, but knew nothing about livestock. He had no one who could help or advise it. So he started working in large farms and learned stock farming. After two years of farm working, he mastered himself stock raising and built a community farming facility in his village. In the early stage of the movement, you can't get much cooperation from your neighbors and have lot of trial and error. When everybody gets disappointed and fallen off it is the leader who should be able to get over the frustration and start again. In Korea there was a story of a community leader who tried to introduce a new species of watermelon in his village. It failed three times in seeding because of temperature and humidity control. Finally he wrapped watered seeds in cloth and had it worn on his belly for two days to get it sprouted. Nowadays his village is famous for its specialty watermelon. Samo Lundong can be done only when the people believe and follow their leaders. A community leader should be a person who has deep interests in the livings of his neighbors and understands them well. A leader should understand and love his village and be loved and followed by its people. It could be easy at first making an ex-government official the leader of community. But who has no experience of rural life and farming can't understand the real situation of community and make it into the movement. Or if you an elder man a village a leader to follow the traditional rule of community, it can't bring real power of reformation. A community leader has lot of things upon his shoulders. He should visit and meet every home and house in the village to catch the state of his village and check every step of every project to make it run well. He must have strong mentality and physical stamina. A man who would put his title on the desk and stay in the office can't take this task. You can't expect your neighbors would welcome and encourage you. Many of community leaders in Korea faced indifference and sneer in the early stage of movement. Don't say nuts, you must be not busy to say things like that, or, nobody praises you with that, were told to them. You need to break your bad habit like heavy drinking or smoking etc. You need to get concepts and cooperation of your family. It's especially important if you are a woman. A core group is the main practicing force which approves the idea of the movement and lead the movement actively with its leader. The one who moves first and induce the rest of village by its activities in the first stage of movement.
made from the existing organizations of community, or newly started by organizing a certain section of people, like young man group or by organizing a cooperative working system for actual project. This is a system to promote a project with many people's knowledge, capital, technique and labor force. Generally the contents of a project would be profit-oriented business, but sometimes it could be infrastructure business such as building a canal. People could participate in the whole procedure of a project like financing, purchasing, producing, processing and distributing, or they could join just one part of the project. Merits of cooperative work system are being able to accomplish a project that can't be done with few workforce. For example, if one person cannot afford to buy a machine necessary to produce and process, people pool their money to buy and share it by instructing its manual. Beside, this cooperative work system has high possibility to success. For example, when new business is introduced, teamwork from purchasing to distributing can reduce expenses and unnecessary trial and error out of rich experiences. Another merit of cooperative work system helps villagers to realize three arrangements of same all undong, organization, seed money and model project, at the same time. At first, gather people agreeing on the same project and decide parts to be done cooperatively and ways to divide work concretely. Second, with the consent of members, set the rules and restrictions of violation. Third, choose a person in charge and divide workload for each member in detail and always record the results of every meeting. You need to consider something when you are build a cooperative working system. It should not be a project that is beneficial to only a small number of residents and against the profits of the whole residents of the village. You need to obtain a consent from a person in charge in other towns in advance in those cases, the target area is connected to other towns, like a canals, roads etc., the results of a project influence on other villages, like a dirt sewage from livestock farming complex, and synergy is expected when other towns join the project, like a processing a certain kind of production. Cooperative project is a kind of a sample business for the future of one's village. For the oncoming business of the town, dwellers must reach on agreement that part of the income or property should be put in the joint fund or joint property. Normally, existing organizations include fishing and forest industries related to regional specialties. Same age union, accompaniment union, and mutual benefit union for mutual aid and friendship. Retired people's group similar to religious organization. For instance, new organization does not seem prosperous because the village consists of kinship, or the influence of one religion is too big. Then, you can apply existing organization as clan society, religious organization etc. The main business of the village relates to market, fishing, and forestry. Then apply existing organization like fishing union, forestry union, and market prosperity union, etc. The tradition of existing gatherings is similar to the doctrine of the same all undong, like mutual benefit union, accompaniment union, etc. The condition is not favorable, the size of a village is small and the atmosphere is inactive, activate one of the stagnant groups already existing. If you utilize existing organization, you don't need to bother to meet people to persuade. You don't need to convene many meetings due to their close relationship. With its high renown it attracts residents into a project easily. The members already have experienced cooperative work through previous projects. Keep merits of a group and start with an activity that is corresponding to the goal of the group. Constantly challenge and suggest alternatives for the wrong customs and culture. If it, as possible, suggest cooperative project model is for alternatives. If the effects are certain, you can make a challenge to boo. Sectional organizations are autonomous organizations established by a certain group of people who have something in common in terms of gender, age, or the role in the community. They include organizations of the women, juvenile, youth, middle-aged men, and seniors. In Korea, the women, S and juvenile association play an important role in same all undong. Women's association consists of married women. Single women at a given age could be members as well. 
They have very high desire to renovate their lives, because they suffer from housework and agricultural affairs. With their common agonies, they once get together their energy will be exploded. Women can play more various roles than men can, babysitting, doing housework, farming, and helping matters great and small in the village. They have potential energy and perform their work tenaciously and perfectly. Typical emotional traits of women, like abomination against corruption or competitive spirit. By explicating expenditure of fund and demonstrating specific individual advantages along with public goals, a leader has to provoke competitive spirit to run the group smoothly. Eventually members have to realize mutual strength through activities on the association. In many cases, husbands and mother-in-law do not approve their wives, or daughter-in-laws participating in a women's association. However, after they see improvement in their home and village, they usually change their minds and start to support the activities. Even some of them support very enthusiastically. Consists of late teenagers and early 20s. If there are many students among them, divided into two groups is one for students and the other for young people. Mostly, they are either engaging in farming without going to school, or being a student, the head of a family, and a farmer all the same. Thus, they are potential leaders in the future for community development. They participate in Samal Undong most enthusiastically because they can receive and understand new things immediately. Since they are different in physical strength and psychological condition, give them their own project different from one of adults and guide them to doing it independently. When they participate in a village project along with adults, assign an individual task for them to have their own role. Due to the lack of experiences, they need to be instructed for skills and information required. Pay special attention not an accident to happen at the work site. Provide educational opportunities such as information technology, farming, and other vocational skills to make them able to be independent, whether they leave for city or stay in the village. Seed money is financial asset providing foundation for village projects. Mainly raising fund by villagers themselves is a rule. To accomplish it, cooperative project and cooperative movement are considered. Usually the two methods are used combined. Both of the two methods above are managed by cooperative work system. A business plan, the direct goal of which is increasing income. If you think the time is premature, you can just start it with those who consent to it. Deduct some money from individual income and reserve it as fund for village project. It gives an example to people that shows doing is achieving. Once it succeeds, it will be settled down as a model project in the village, and it will lift up dwellers' income in relatively short period of time. Information and knowledge for the project. Accounting ability. Suppliers for production materials and equipments, and markets for the goods produced. Individual investments by members of the project group. If you can't make it, find solution in a collective way. A sericulture cooperative working group in S Village, Korea, raised fund by exploiting hillock together and planting mulberry trees there. A cooperative working group in D Village, Korea, originally started from raising chickens, and then bought pigs with the profit of selling chickens. With the earnings made by selling pigs, they exploited hillock jointly, developed it as a livestock farming complex, and raised cows there. A red pepper cultivation group in B Village, Korea, reclaimed fallow ground jointly and reaped red pepper. And then, they changed the field into a public drying facility and processed the crop into dried red pepper, making much more value added to raw pepper. It gave them enough money to build a fully equipped greenhouse facility and raise green produce in winter. A mechanized farming group in H Village, Korea, started by purchasing a used tractor through day labor in busy farming season. One person took in charge of repairing the machine and instructing operations. Another one who owned a store provided it as an office. And the other four members were responsible for contracting harvest jobs. Through the joint efforts and work, they could increase the number and kinds of machines. In a model cooperative project, the leader should show responsibility, patience, friendship, boldness, and resolution. Among those qualities, boldness and resolution are more important. Be alert to the changes in market. Keep an eye open about the information to purchasing, distributing, and selling. Be welcome to any residents who would like to join the cooperative project. Keep record on the results of project and contents of expenditure clearly, and let the record be open to all residents. 
Same all cooperative work as part of or the whole residents get involved in a cooperative work for a certain period of time voluntarily to achieve a goal of the group. Same all cooperative work as part of or the whole residents get involved in a cooperative work for a certain period of time voluntarily to achieve a goal of the group. Same all cooperative works are suitable for an imminent need in the village like reconstruction of bridge impaired by flood. Or there is high demand for public facilities like townhouse and clinics. Goals with order and clear explanation are better. Public goal based on the interest of individual family will be good. Recycling produces three benefits, raising seed money, cleaning environment, and recycling wastes. Collecting and selling bottles and other waste materials regularly. Obtaining surplus materials from large construction sites and use them instead of buying new ones. Make students collect empty bottles and other waste materials, and earn pocket money by selling them. Encourage this movement among children. Make use of fallow ground and deserted facilities. It is good for the owner and user. Develop hillock and fallow ground jointly. Raise seed money with the earnings made through selling lumber and grass and the profits resulted from cooperative cultivation. Cultivate fallow ground of absent owners, and manage together a salt farm deserted by the lack of money. It is making something out of nothing, by constant efforts of daily life. Reducing a spoonful of rice whenever cooking a meal. This is a movement of rice saving. Purchase daily necessaries in great numbers at low price. Distribute these items at reasonable price to each family and save the difference. Purchase industrial products such as salad oil in large package of lower price and share it. Deposit the difference. It is a way to earn money quickly by collaborating familiar work in a short period of time. Save wages earned by cooperative work like weeding and reaping in busy farming season. Save wages earned by cooperative work of seasonal jobs such as picking fruits at orchard and doing some chores at stock raising farms. Let each family and individual have clear meaning of a cooperative project before they participate in it. The project should seek not only group interest but also individual family interest. X put money partly on individual banking account and save some for cooperative fund. Manage fund clearly and distribute dividend according to the members' agreement. Also inform the result to everyone participating in the project. The longer the period of movement is, the better motivation is needed.